Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I have finally unlocked the large cruiser and the modern battle cruiser. So not one, but two new ships, potentially. Now, I am eyeing up the Advanced Armor Cruiser 2 for 11-inch, an 11-inch gun super cruiser. And we have the Valhalla class coming out with 15 inch guns. So for the large cruiser, I'm thinking 13 inch guns. That is my thinking. So it's basically gonna be a mini mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because if we go 13 inch guns. Mm. Yeah, 13s. Duels. Basically, it's something to sit between the new Valhallas and the uh, Super Cruisers when I finally unlock them. Uh, something to help us just kind of blast away s small ships. Uh, secondaries. I think the th I mean the four inch guns have been doing pretty good work, but I think on this hull, three inch guns are a better bet because it can fit them on all of those slots, and then I'm not going to bother with the two inch guns. So we just go. 13s and 3s. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go 13s and 3s. Now, smoke. We have 54 to play with. I can probably get away with a Mega Funnel 2. Uh, not quite. Mega Funnel 1. Make a funnel one. Uh, let's go, crook. No, bob it. Obviously, with the torpedo protection. Uh, weight is going to be an issue on this boat. I have a suspicion. Oh, well, no, we're still underweight. My goodness, and um, we're a little bit over on the speed, though. Mm, about 31 knots. 31 knots makes her the fastest non-destroyer in the fleet. Mm, and that's a very good range. So she'll be more of a... She'll also be able to do kind of long-range raiding. Okay. Uh, hmm. Torpedoes, probably not on this ship. There's not really an obvious. I mean, maybe there under the float plane launcher. Yeah, and she only carries three underwater tubes of science. So I think we'll dispense with those. She just needs armoured up. Um, oh, and I need to actually look at the guns. 13-inch <laughs> 49s with a 1.45 round a minute rate of fire. That's actually pretty much perfect. Just want to round them up to 50s. Just for the OCD. 3-inch <laughs> guns we can make big. Actually, do you know what? Just, just for being different. Let's make them three and a half inch guns. I don't normally do that, but sure. Three and a half inch guns. Oh wow, you can make those uh, turrets really, really thick. 
Uh, how about 15 inch with 7.5 on the top? And then we'll go 14, 7, yeah, this is where I'm overweight. <laughs> 7, 7, 3.5, 3.5, yeah, that's too much. Um, I could just go for a 12, 6. 12, 6 is a little bit more normal. And... Yeah, three, three, one point five. And then the turrets don't need to be that chunky. Fourteen, seven, fourteen. And then I've got one percent weight to worry about. Uh second again should just be one point five. They don't need to be particularly well armoured. I'd like more on here, but it tends to be what goes in a battle cruiser compared to a battleship. Uh, double bottom. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. Let's go double bottom. So we can go 6, 3, 1.5 on the belt. And then 3, 1.5. 1.5 again, or oh, 1.2 on the inner, and that just leaves me with 175 tons. And we have a massive halfway offset, so let's <laughs> try and fix the offset. Probably somewhere there. There we go, balanced and now underweight by uh, tucking the guns nice and neatly to the superstructure. Well, I'm happy enough with that. And that leaves us a little bit of displacement spare as well, which is always a good thing. Now, uh, I did have... Yeah, this is gonna be the well, no, we'll leave it as the Crompreds, but uh, I'll maybe name a few of them. But I quite like that as a vessel. She should prove to be, well, hopefully, a decent kind of intermediate ship. I can hear the comments already saying that there's no point building intermediate ships. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it it's going to occupy... A bit of a niche but given that we don't have the super cruisers under construction yet um it's going to be a bit more a bit more useful um so we'll save that design and then we'll look at the actual um battle cruiser hull See if we can make a good ship out of her. Sue. Because <laughs> she's basically going to be very similar. How big are the Valhalla's? Yeah, 56. So the, I'm basically thinking a cheaper version of the and um, faster version of the Valhalla. If we can get away with it. So guns, 15 inch duels don't fit on the tower. 
Oh, it's this hull. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one that, and then it will fit thirteens, won't it? Yeah. I remember this hull. Uh, I could fit it with fourteens, or I could save that hull for later. But that limitation... Is, does she fit 14s, actually? Yeah, she does. That limitation, though, that's... Uh, yeah, that's that's no good. That's no good at all. Yeah, I might, I might think of something to use that hole for later. But I think the large cruiser is what we're going to need for now. Fat turret syndrome. Yeah. Um, now the question becomes, how many of these to build? Uh, we currently have three Valhallas under construction. Now, and I think I wanted to go for... Well, I'm probably going to want... I'm not even sure I can afford six. Um... In fact, I don't think I can. <laughs> um, how many of the Valkyries do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm probably thinking... Probably only two of these. Um, and I'm... Um, also going to queue up another Valhalla, so I have four. Now, we did have some requests. Uh, this one is going to be formidable. After the British one that we captured. And it was requested that one of these was going to be the How, which is the Battlecruiser we captured. <laughs> but there we go. Uh... I know. <laughs> Do I have any ships from making 1890 to 1910? So, pre dreadnoughts. Um, I mean, the pre dreadnoughts are bad. But uh, my top tip would be the light cruisers can be surprisingly good. Um, you can make them fast enough that. They basically can't be hit. You can put a bunch of torpedoes on them, and you can put a bunch of four-inch guns on them, so they can they can threaten tra uh, torpedo boats. They can threaten early destroyers, uh, other light cruisers with the guns, and then they can use their torpedoes on the very slow um, heavy cruisers and battleships. So th they can actually be a really useful unit. Um, the armoured cruisers can be as almost as good as battleships, so don't early on, so just don't discount them. I and mean, they suck later on, but early early game, uh, you can actually make some pretty decent heavy cruisers. Um, and then for the battleships, just don't expect them to <laughs> just don't expect them to be able to do what a, a dreadnought could do. Like as long as you treat them like pre dreadnoughts, they're going to be slow. They're going to miss everything. Uh, so you want lots and lots of secondaries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly, Blackbird. So, we, yeah, we're going to build two battle cruisers, basically mirroring the Shan horse, and then we will have four battleships, uh, or at least four of the Valhalla-class super dreadnoughts. Uh, going to research. I'm going to take off the cruisers. Uh, Cruiser design <laughs> uh, priority because I don't need it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let the tech progress. Now, to the battles. Nothing, nothing spectacular, to be honest. I'm wondering if it might be worth putting together a little fleet. 
of our own and uh, our task force of our own and uh, taking the fight to the enemy a little bit because I think we kind of need this war to finish and the other ships lying around So we'll assemble a little task force here, if we can, and uh, see if we can get some power projection going, because I think we are now almost at the stage where we could maybe try and get a blockade going. Well, it's going to be difficult. Right. First battle. The Gutamili against the Newcastle, a hideous Dartmouth class. Ugh. Uh, I don't know what you're meaning by can I change the tower on that other hull. Sorry. You're, you're very limited with some of the German hulls in what towers you have available. Night, hysteric fish. Thanks for dropping by. To, oh, to fit the guns? No, I was using the biggest tower. Um, yeah, I, 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 I recognised the hull when I started messing around with it. It's a really annoying one. Um, the towers are huge, but don't fit big guns. It's rather irritating. No, mm. giddy aunt. And there we go. Missed. <laughs> no, I didn't. Ha! Take that. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention to the um, my own torps. I assumed they were going to miss, and they didn't. Right. Newcastle is very badly damage it after that. She does still have torps left, so I can't be uh, overconfident. Hopefully, we just blap away at it. Of course, we immediately target lock, which is very annoying. There we go. Down she goes. Outstanding. I did say that the Valkyries were a good counter to those Dartmouth class. I think taking one out for only three damage kind of proves my point. If I'm very lucky, the British AI is going to conclude that those uh, <laughs> Dartmouth classes are too expensive and not very good. Uh, can but hope. Right, buzzard and venturous. Okay. All right, Andy, thanks for dropping by. Have a good one. Yeah. 
torps. I don't know if they're going to fire both sets. I have to have another one. Yeah, there it is. Hold the drifts. <laughs> there we go. Like, why are these guns not turning? Turn you buggers. Torps. Got him. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, that was quick. Okay, and then we have a Deutschland Ugh. taking on a Dartmouth and a destroyer escort guarding a convoy. Hmm. Yeah, lots of torps. <laughs> lots of torps are actually hitting this stream. It's amazing. Don't know what's going on. Right. Um, let's go. I don't think we're safe from that volley. Oof. Oh. Those things can fire so many torpedoes, it's unreal. assuming they're going to shoot at me again, you see. Oh, hello. He spotted those a bit late. Gotcha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. Transports. Let's go. one with lots of torps on it. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to get the transports because I left my own torpedoes on. No. Oh, got them once. It's kind of perfect, actually. If they don't sink, I'll let me uh, go and attack the transports. Or over here somewhere. <laughs> oh no, okay. The, too eager to blow up the destroyer, I think. I know I could switch the guns off, but it's only four transports. And if you've got a shot at a destroyer, might as well take it. 
Mind you, the Phoenix is um, resisting. No, not going to do her in. Right, transports. That's one down. And three, Jesus. There's one more. There it is. Go back for the Phoenix. She won't be able to go very fast at the moment. Enjoy the pizza. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Ah, spotted her. Oh, with a huge hit early on. as well. My goodness. Chat, you're making me hungry. Hmm. Well, successfully brushed off uh, another round of <laughs> British small ships. Oh my goodness. Austro-Hungarians and the French are still going at it. Let's have a look at what's happening in the next month unless of course the game is going to take forever building new ships uh, hmm it might be it just might be ba 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 nope nope it's going to be annoying isn't it oh well um, I'm going to end the episode here then. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.